Good morning guys, back at Lake the Ozarks. Water temp is about 41 degrees here. I got Bernie with me again. Uh, gonna be a good day today. Kind of got the whole family with me. And then uh, Nathan's actually coming up with his wife as well. So we plan on seeing some brush uh, today and tomorrow. I think today's high is in the 40s maybe here. Tomorrow's in the 60s, so that'd be nice. But uh, we'll go out and do a little A-rig in here for about two hours. Nate's on his way up from uh, St. Louis. So I'll toss around the A-rig and a jerk bait on some secondary points, some main lake points here a little bit. As you can see, it's another bluebird sky type of day. So uh, we'll see if uh, bluegill flash the color again. Seemed to be the color last time for the A-rig, but either that or shad color. Water clarity looks to be still pretty dang good and considering all the rain stuff we just got, snow, sleet, whatever you want to call it from this little ice storm. So we'll go out and we'll see what we get into in about two hours. <laughs> and so far, knock on wood, my, oh, there he is. Oh, he came off. He took it. Uh, oh, look at that. Took it off. Sexy shad. Been reading. Oh, there's a little one. Which one did he eat? Not the white one. Or not the flash one. going good, but the other one's like thinner. Yeah. First one for me, just kind of along the edge of a dock. My short right. struck me real close. Not a keeper, but. I think I spooked him. <laughs> Maybe that's what's hurting me. <laughs> it's not the bad color. It's, it's not the color. It's the no wind. Oh, now I got him. <laughs> yeah. Little guy. Got my first one of the day. On a color Austin said would never work. <laughs> I'm working on making a color chart for my A-Rig. And today I'm trying out Sexy Shad. And I got a chartreuse middle. Got some more stained water. So we'll see if we got ourselves a line burner. We're tied one to one with our colors. Oh, just have one. Right off the rock. There he is. <laughs> two to one. Nope. <laughs> I think mine's short too. Definitely is. That's a little shorty. <laughs> there he is. Yep. You have key, key. Small little keeper here on the A-Rig. I think he's a keeper. I better measure him. He's over about 15 and a half. Yeah, he'll keep. He ain't big, but uh, they're hitting the crap out of it. Just not very well. A lot of uh, short strikes today. It's a big one, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I think he thought he was a crappie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to blend in. I put a big four pounder and jerk bait, I'll be like, oh, jerk bait all day. That's all we're throwing. There's one. First cast. Doesn't seem real big. Nope. Hey, that's okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> they didn't cast up far enough. Yeah, cast up real close. Like as close as you can get almost. Make yourself nervous. That you're going to hit the bank and break the lip off. And... All right, see you later, little buddy. Little fella. Yeah. There's one. Oh, lucky. Might be a better one, too. Yeah, he's a decent one, yeah. He ain't huge, but back deeper of the day. So he's not hooked real well. Don't Thanks. Matter. Not a giant by any means, but I don't know, two pounds, two and a half, maybe at best. Healthy keeper. Nice keeper. So we'll let him back. 
lot of people a lot of people that there's one that have them really like them and some people say that ones that have the Ultrex or that's what they're going to get next small one here in a jerk bait nothing to write home about Oh, there's one. There it is. Crappie of the year. Throw Every them. year I catch some crappie on a uh, jerk bait, and I was just commenting earlier that I haven't done it yet this year. Got it out of the way. This is more soccer ball sized rock. There's one. I was about to say, can we move a little closer? Because I could, I was like all I had to get kind of close to the bank. It's a drum! Yeah. Might keep her. Me, line burner. You're close, he is. Yeah. It's by one day they can eat the rig so good, and the next day they want the jerk bait. So they're just, you know, they're different. I think today's mostly is just ain't much wind. But I, I that's that's hurt. That's really hurt. As well, as it is. well, I don't think jerk bait matters as much here because the water's not so clear. Yeah, I guess that's true. The table rock, I think it matters a lot more because they can really, really look at it. Yeah. Another shorty on the uh, jerk bait here. All right, guys, we just got done sinking some brush today. Uh, it's actually been a beautiful day to fish. It's really windy. It's bluebird sky still, but it's going to be in the 60s, but uh, not able to really fish today. Got some stuff going on. So as far as yesterday's fishing went, uh, there was not really any wind. There's intermittent wind, but it was not nearly um, as good today. Today's like 15 mile an hour, I think. So um, yesterday was a lot of jerk baiting was our best, I think. We Definitely caught some on A-Rig. We had a lot of fish kind of looking up at the A-Rig, but I think it was just so calm. You had to have a jerk bait with, with a good flash. Austin, I did not have a good flash in jerk bait, and Austin put me down uh, with his gold, what was it, Tennessee yeah, Shad? Yeah, Tennessee throwing. Shad, like just a mega bass, which is the color I like to throw up here on the lower end a lot when it's um, sunny. If it's sunny, I like to have some flash or have like a translucent color that looks natural if the water's more clear like it is up here. And then if it's like a cloudy day, I mean, use usually something that's more matte, like a, a white or like a matte shad color or something that's a little more contrast in the water that the fish can kind of pick up on a little bit more. But yeah, the jerk bait was good yesterday. I one was great, but that was our best bait. Um, threw a jig a little bit, didn't have anything. And the A-Rig, like I said, it caught some, but I think there just wasn't really enough wind yesterday to have a real good A-Rig bite. So, you know, a day like today with the wind would have been great. And hopefully tomorrow uh, when Nathan comes up, You'll be able to whack them pretty good on here, rig and jerk bait with some that wind and that pre-front coming. Yep. Well, guys, thanks again for watching, and we hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more content.